hello guys welcome to dtw ged math prep okay so in today's video i'm going to be taking four questions on number line slash absolute um, values okay and it's quite important okay this these questions are quite important that you know before you go in in for your test okay so if you're going to see any number line question in ged it should be any of this that's why it's important so you don't miss this point okay because it's quite it's really really quite easy for you to miss this all right so don't miss this point so it adds up to your score all right so please make sure you watch this video to the end and please also share with your friends family loved ones preparing for the GED test okay so the first question says which absolute value expression illustrates the distance okay between point A and point B in the following number line. So we have this number line, all right? So this is it. So this is point A and this is point B. So we need to, first of all, know what point A is and what point B, B is. And you can see that um, the distance between each of um, the numbers is what, 3. Can you see that constant from 0 to this is 3? From 3 to 6 is what, 3? So if this is 9, we're going to add 3 to 9, and this A here will be minus what 12. So here also, here from here to here is 3. So if this is 3, this B, the point B, will be plus 3, which will be what 6. So point A is minus 12, and point B is equal to what 6. So what's the distance between A and B? The distance between A and B is what minus 12 minus okay we are going to subtract and this is a positive what six okay b is a positive six a is what a negative uh, 12 okay this is the number line all right so here you have positive numbers to your right why to your left sorry to your left we have what negative what numbers so we have where the distance from a to b okay from point a to b is minus 12 minus what positive what six and if we open up this parenthesis minus times this six here we're going to have minus 12 minus six but now you can see which absolute value expression illustrates the distance when measuring distance in maths it is always a positive okay so whatever negative value you have you find the absolute value of that particular word and the answer because negative 12, negative 6, what would that give us? That would give us what? A, negative 18. But distance can never be negative. You get my point? In mass, distance can never be negative. So the absolute value of negative 18 is a positive word 18. Okay? But the answer didn't, um, if you can see from our option here, we don't just have a number alone. We have things in our absolute word value bracket. Okay? You know, absolute value is represented with two strokes. Okay? And you have your values in between the two strokes. So our right option here is what? Minus 12 minus 6 in absolute value. And the right option here is option C. Okay? So this is how you solve for this. Don't worry. We have another example again in here. Now, the next question says, what is the value of H on the number on the following number line? Now, the value, you can see this question isn't asking us for distance. All right. This is where now people will mix it up because uh, I've said so they say, OK, why not? If it's asking for value, then it's, it's also a distance problem. So our answer should be. Uh, a positive no it's just the question is just asking for the value of h h don't worry the next question you see what i mean uh, better or all right so here um this is point h from here this is zero so we can see that the distance between one uh, point to the other is, is one unit so if this is one okay minus one this is minus two so it means the next uh, point here will be what minus three and you can see this is between minus uh, 3 and minus 4. So it means, and it is halfway. So this is H is equal to a minus 3 and half. All right. So this is the answer. Okay. This is the value of H. Okay. On the number line. So minus 3 and half. So option B is the right answer. Okay. If we were told to find the distance of H on the number line. Okay. From point 0. All right it would be a positive okay because you have to find the absolute value of 
your answer all right but it this question says just the value of h all right so the value of h here is minus three and half don't worry don't worry you see the next question now and you understand what i mean uh, better so now you can see this next question it says a number line is shown what is now the distance in units from o to point p on the number line so now we are told to find the distance so from point o to p all right so what is p here so this is uh, the the distance between two points here is one unit so this is minus one minus two this is minus three minus four so this next one is what minus what five so the point p is between minus four and minus five halfway between minus four and minus five so point p is what minus four and half okay but it doesn't end there we are told to find the distance all right so the distance can't be negative it has to be the absolute value of negative four and half and that would give us a positive of four and half so this is our answer our right option here in this question is option c okay you have you, you got you get what i mean now all right so take note of the the question if it's if you see anything distance no your answer should be positive and should be in, in uh, or it depends on the option you're given it should be in an absolute value uh, bracket okay but if there's no distance it just tells you to find the value all right so whatever point it is on the number line that will just be the value okay if it's negative or positive now let's get take the final one question here it's very key all right that uh you know we know our number line there are a lot of number line um questions on the gd you can get like up to two or three and you shouldn't miss it at all i shouldn't miss it it should add up okay because uh, there will be a lot of word problems so if you're going to miss some word problems you shouldn't miss number line so it can add up to your score all right so so it can add up to your score so that's what i always tell students i tutor one-on-one -on -one, okay to always know their number line and uh, functions they are quite easy but easy to miss all right but it's quite good you know them so it adds up, adds up to your score and um, by the way if you're interested in the one-on-one -on -one online tutoring i tutor online you can check my um, details in the video description box of this um video okay my email send me a mail or you can also join our facebook group this is our facebook group the link is also in the video description box of this video okay please join the group you can also chat me up from the group there and uh, you know schedule your time we'll take it up from there all right and uh, if you're not comfortable with a female tutor definitely we have gentlemen in our pool of ged tutors to also tutor you all right so thank you okay and please also i forgot to mention please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel all right it's quite a baby channel please subscribe to help us grow okay so now the final question here says a number line a number line is shown which expression represent the distance between the two points so this is x this is y okay on the number line so what is y you can see the distance between uh this is from here to here is one unit so this is one two this is three so y is three okay this is zero this is minus one minus two minus three x is what minus what four so the distance between this okay i did this question in uh, the 30 most difficult um, ged practice question okay i would also leave the link to that video to watch which is quite important to help you in your GED test. I did this question and I made an error and thank God the student um, notified me about, about it. I just um, corrected it with the text on that video, but I'm doing this also to correct it. So this is X. X is what's negative 4 and Y is what's 3. Okay, so the distance between X, okay, X and Y is what negative 4 minus what? In parentheses a positive no this is a positive three so from here we have negative four if you open up the parentheses we're going to have a negative or three okay remember now it is distance so distance will be the absolute value 
of this particular expression whatever we get from this operation negative 4 negative 3 is a negative what 7 but distance can never be negative so the absolute value of what 7 of negative 7 is what a positive 7 that's why we have to put it in the absolute value uh, bracket okay so the distance between this and this is this okay you can see it's 7 because when we count we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the distance between X and Y. So our right option here is option C. This is negative 4, negative 3 in absolute value bracket. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. And also give this video a thumbs up. And um, also, very important, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, okay? For he's the way, he's the truth, he is the life. And right now, he's knocking at the door of your heart, okay? And he's saying, please allow me in, okay? So he can give you peace, joy, okay, health, all right? Take away every toxic situation from your life. Jesus is the way. He's the one who's going to give you that peace that passes all understanding. All right? And he's also going to take you to heaven at last. And apart from taking us to heaven at last, even here, thy will be done. Okay? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Even here while on earth, he's going to still give us joy through every persecution, through every temptation, through every trials. He's going to give us joy. All right? Okay? But because, because why I say I'm so sure, is for it says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord del deliver them from them all. Okay? So he delivers us from all of them. Whatever it be, he shall deliver you. So come to Jesus today. Okay? And he will give you rest from every of your bodies. All right. So thank you. Thank you from DTW Tutorials. Also, don't forget that you are destined to win in your forthcoming GED matters. Take care.